I want to say something very important to the LGUs. LGUs uh, refers to the local government units. We are in a critical time. We have resorted to this extreme measure of enhanced. Good day sa lahat! Nagpahayag si Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte ng kanyang mahalagang mensahe sa mga LGU at publiko. Ayon sa kanya, ito ang panahon na kailangan at dapat sundin ng lahat ng chairman at mayor sa buong Pilipinas para sa kaligtasan ng lahat. Kasi nga, ang transmetal tao lang ang pwedeng magbigay ng sakit na yan sa iyo. Hindi, anong, walang ibang bagay. Tao ang magbigay sa iyo ng sakit na yan. So, iwasan mo ang kapwa mo tao. Pag magdating yung nagpautang sa iyo, magtago ka na ng gusto. Uh, okay yan. Uh, sabihin niya na magtatago-tago ka. Gusto kong bumayad si COVID ang ayaw. Alamin ang buong detalye at huwag kalimutang share para malaman ng iba. Ingat po sa lahat, manatili lang sa bahay at huwag kalimutang magdasal para sa kaligtasan ng sambayanan at buong mundo. God bless us all. I want to say something very important to the LGUs. LGUs uh, refers to the local government units. We are in a critical time. We have resorted to this extreme measure of enhanced quarantine or quarantine for the zone because the magnitude of the threat that we are facing calls for it. By its nature, it severely restricts the freedom of movement of our countrymen and thus deprives many people of their ability of earning a living for the coming weeks. Let me add my own words. I'm really very sorry, but I have to do it. Now I call the LGUs. The national governments need your help during this time but i want to tell you do not make this quarantine or quarantine more difficult for our Filip for our people than it already is lgus should take note of this that at this time Let us make ourselves clear that we are not separate from a republic or from each other. There is only one republic here, the Republic of the Philippines, and therefore you should abide by the directives of the national government when it sets abide by the directives of the whole for the good of the country and the protocols observed during the time of the lockdown. Let me add that uh, at this time, I do not think it is just a quarantine or quarantine. I think that uh, we are already in the stage of a lockdown simply because the Contagion continues to take its toll in the countryside. I know you have the mandate to deal with the emergencies affecting your localities. I was a mayor myself in case you have forgotten. But this is an emergency of national proportions and therefore it is the national government that should call the shots. The national government body in charge of laying down the standards for the quarantine is the IA, 
STF or the Interagency Task Force for the Management of Emerging Infectious Diseases. Let me be clear to everyone. So, when the IAF says, do not restrict the flow of cargo of whatever type, then no LGUs should say that they only follow or allow food or essentials goods to come in. You are setting already your standards and making this quarantine more difficult for all. I am ordering all LGUs that are doing this to stand down and to abide by the directives of the IATF, the task force. Not mine, but the task force and those issued by the Office of the President and to make sure that what the AA, IATF say should be closed is closed and those that should be open stay open. You know the only reason why you can impose these quarantine restrictions and impose it on everyone passing your areas is because the national government is allowing you to do so. But if you go beyond the standards that we have set, you are abusing your authority and you know that it can lead to administrative cases or even worse unless you stop what you are doing and, and completely fully Criminal cases cannot be far behind. I am therefore directing the DILG and the DOJ to closely monitor the compliance of LGUs in the directives of the late uh, of the uh, office and to file the necessary cases against the wayward officials. You know. Let me be just uh, sundin na lang natin. Total para man ito sa lahat. Do not try to overdo things or think that you can do what you want to do because that is not allowed. We, you know, move in one direction, in one unison. Precisely to place the contagion uh, in control for the better health of our Filipino, our countrymen. Wala namang gusto nito eh. And uh, we do not want to be lording it over your uh, local government because we do not want to do that. I do not want to do that. That's an added task. Ayaw na ayaw ko yan, pero wala tayong magawa. Sundin lang natin. Ang ibig sabihin, do not, wag kang magbiyahe ng sarili mo sa Tagalog ba. Kung sa wedding, ay wag kang magpalaro ng iba. Wag kang magbiyahe. Isa lang, sa gobyerno lang. Pero ako sa waiting, alam ko hindi niyo sinusunod. Well, there will always be a time for that. In the coming days, we will need the help of the LGUs more and more. So I want to make this clear early on. Let us work together to implement this quarantine and it should all, and it, it should all begin with the LGUs making sure that your actions are consistent with the national directive. To do otherwise would sow confusion. All over the world there is confusion and chaos already because of these lockdowns. We are not the only ones into it. All countries of the world 
as a matter of fact, are doing it. And that is why it adds more trouble than what is already there that he can handle. We are not alone, but let our country lead the way in imposing a lockdown and a strict enough, strict enough to effectively kill COVID-19. Liberal enough so that our people will not die of hunger and orderly enough so that our country will not be driven towards chaos during this difficult time. Problema kasi nito, COVID-19 is possible. Sa tao lang, it's contact. Yung handshake o yung just maybe rubbing each other's elbow. We have to look for further and think of the economic survival of the country even after the crisis is over. Alam mo sa totoo lang, importante lang malaman ninyo. We are imposing the social uh, uh, distance. Kasi nga, ang transmittal tao lang ang pwedeng magbigay ng sakit na yan sa iyo. Hindi, anong, walang ibang bagay. Tao ang magbigay sa iyo ng sakit na yan. So, iwasan mo ang kapwa mo tao. Pag magdating yung nagpautang sa iyo, magtago ka na ng gusto. Uh, okay yan. Uh, sabihin niya na nagtatago-tago ka. Gusto kong bumayad si COVID ang ayaw. Uh, yung stranded, we will try to help you. Uh, the, your uh, Air Force and your uh, army will help you wherever you are. Kung wala ka nang mauwian, kung wala na kayong matulugan, I am uh, asking the military commanders of the different camps all over the country that you can go there and ask for accommodation at pagkain. And they will uh, They would only be too willing to help you. Yan ang ating army at police. Uh, bigyan kayo pagkain at tulugan. And in the meantime, they will try to communicate the, the authorities in Manila to... We will try to... Anyway, ma ma makukuha ko kayo. <clears throat> that is uh, a very terrible thing, you know, as a matter of fact, uh, it would have been very cruel for you to drive away, lalo na yung mga bata nagbakasyon, tapos walang mauwian, walang tatanggap. Uh, I, my heart bleeds for them. Uh, hindi mo malaman na kung saan ka pupunta. Pilipino ka naman. Pero wala na magtatanggap sa iyo. Uh, to me, uh, I can understand your refusal. But more than your uh, feeling, yung akin is to somehow protect and help Filipinos in distress. As your president, I am now invoking the sanctity of my oath of office to help people and my country. To so all in Jesus, let us move forward together with one accord. Implement the lockdowns and save our people from the dreaded disease once and for all. Ang pinakan remedyo dito is just to magkalayo kayo. Ngayon, kung yung bahay ninyo sa bukid maliliit, eh, dikit-dikit kayo. Sabayan na lang din natin ng ano bang prayer to adasal. 
Abayan na natin ng dasal na tutulungan yung mga tao, mga Pilipino na hindi, hindi, they are not in a position. Wala sa, sa kanilang kakayan na magsunod ng mga social standing. Better still, just keep your distance from strangers. Or friends, just so na maputol yung yung contamination from A to B, B to C. Kung kaysa sky, di putulin natin doon. Yun ang maganda. So, it's actually the social intercourse that is bad at this time. I hope you can understand us at maintindihan rin ninyo kung ano ang ginagawa na. Maraming salamat.